made it to Canada. out my first bear by the way. Just getting started. I think I'm about 20 miles in. When I get to 27, I'm gonna stop and do a little dance. Chug some water. And then I'm gonna tell myself I only have to do that 100 more times. Doesn't sound that bad. Zeros, right? Thirty two miles in, day one, three thousand feet gained, and I had a little bit of an episode just now. I cramped up like I've never cramped before. Legs completely locked up. I was off the bike three times. Well, after about an hour on the, the forest road, really wide, like six lanes wide, great gravel road. We're on this great single track. Tons of these streams right here. Great spot to fill up right there, but I'm good right now. Good spot to fill up right there.
<laughs> that was a little fun and sketchy and weird and I want to do it again. <laughs> After that single track, filled up some water in a uh, creek, and uh, it started to rain a little bit. It's going downhill, it got cold quick. So I stopped under a uh, bathroom awning, dug my jacket out. Guess what happened by the time I got my jacket out and everything back in? Take a wild guess. You're right. Now I just got this hot jacket I just stripped off, draped across my bars. Rain jacket's back on. Good morning, day two. Yesterday was interesting. Started out in Banff. Really nice trail, beautiful day. I did not get ahead of my electrolytes. And I cramped on the side of the road three times. I know I already told you this, but it was the worst cramp of my life. If this doesn't look steep, I don't know what would make a video Look steep. I'm going way up. There. Ooh wee, we made it over. Going down, down, baby, low speed rider. Shimmy, shimmy, cup of pop. At the very top, you missed it, there was a avalanche crew cabin and toilet. It'd be a good place to stay if it wasn't below freezing up here. I just went through one of these and going through another one now. Oh, oh. oh thank God. Mouthful of food right now too. Oh. 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 I just stopped and made a pour over coffee and ate my chicken Alfredo dehydrated meal. That might have been the best lunch I've ever had in my life. In this valley. Back on the bike and going downhill. All bundled up. I think y'all need to see this.
Barney, how much further? I'm out of food. Uh Testing. Hey, we're in Fernie. Uh, I just outran the rain and, well, I didn't outrun it. I got soaking wet. Thanks to the Wendy's uh, blow dryer in the restroom, I'm pretty clean, pretty dry. I gotta get food and my bike fixed. Oh, and then I think I'm gonna keep going. Adios. This is what you do whenever you start to feel a little ache in your knees. You get off and walk. Or you pull over and stop, but I don't want to do that. It feels good to walk. My knees aren't hurting when I walk, so. Man, this is beautiful country. I mean, everywhere you look, we should all be a little more Canadian. Climbing, nice gradual slow climb. I had a little stench in my knee, I had to pull over and walk. Oh yeah, I made a video for it. <laughs> Super duper, adios. Little update. Hiking this bike up and over this pass. Day two. Final summit, day two. So you gotta go up to go down. All right, there's Butt Cabin. It's too bad I didn't get any sleep in it last night. It was full up and warm and toasty, but I set up a tent. Rolling out, day three. Making good time, in my opinion. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Don't forget to turn around and look. Kind of neat section here. Hey Scott, Scott Champ, I need your help brother. I told my wife I was gonna go for a bike ride and I'd be home in an hour.
God, come get me. Give me a ride. I'm on this dirt road. All right, good morning. Day four. I missed the opportunity to uh, film Eureka. Cool little town, but to recap, slept in an apartment slash hotel. Two other nice guys last night. Slept good from 11 to 6.30. Woke up, packed up, reset. All right, day four, checking in with my body. Knees felt like stones last night. They feel better, but still heavy today. My hands went numb. My pinky and ring finger, my right hand went numb yesterday and all night long. Other than that, there's a little like feeling in the bottom of my left foot. Might do with the cleat placement or the sole. The soles are wore out, the insoles. All right, love y'all. I gotta say I love that sign. Take two. One, this one's for you. Keep my culo clean.
morning, day number four. I'm counting my days. Day number five. Oh goodness, I'm gonna start have to tallying it somewhere. So I'm multitasking and on my arrow bars. Getting out some chapstick. I'm gonna put sunscreen on. I got a little burnt on my cheeks yesterday. I'm really glad I grew my hair out because it's sun, sun protection for my neck. We are here. Oh, in case you were wondering, it's so raining, and instead of staying out in it, well, it got worse and worse. I parked the bike and hid at the base of the tree, put my rain, get, rain gear on, and sat there and barely got wet. And it lightened up, it started lighting up, and started getting a little lighter outside. So I uh, dried off my seat. I mean, really, I'm not that wet. This jacket's not great, but flight is getting wet. It's getting colder, I'm going up. Save my winter ski gloves. We're gonna to get to the top. Get some warm gloves. And when it stops raining here in 13 minutes. Peace and love. Tell you what, I'm trying to feel a little bit homesick right now. It's rain and cold. Does not make for best attitude. Turn around. All right, I got this. You got this. Let's just walk this hill. All right, super provide 24. A beautiful morning day six left Holland Lake last night or this morning left got there late last night soaked through the bone what a great view there Good morning, single track.
That right there is a great view of where I'm headed. Straight up. What? Look at this. Guys, I gotta send a huge shout out to Christoph. Christoph from Germany just saved my whole ride. He had a spare spacer. The restrap bumper bar was destroyed and my headset was loose because the spacer that the restrap bumper was providing was missing and the whole, whole headset was loose. He happened to have one and it filled the gap. Got me back riding. Take this way down. Remember that view of earlier? There it is again. I hope all the viewers just said Gesundheit or bless you or some other thing like excuse you all right here it is dang that might be one of the best views it's that golden hour I wish you could see behind me right now I'm not taking the camera off only I get to see that. Woo! Crawling over all these mountain passes. Check, check. Got a fresh, brad, fresh, fresh battery. We got 40 minutes left on this SD card. Day seven. Not gonna lie, this was the hardest day to get going in that first climb over that first pass was extremely difficult for me but uh i've done some stretches and feeling a little better gonna get on the road i have to say when i think of montana this is what i think of
it turns out that house with the giant bicycle painted on this roof is owned by John and Barbara. They've been hosting cyclists since 1998. Free of charge, only one request, pay it forward. That is so motivating and um, generous, that couple. Thank you, John, thank you, Barbara. You guys are awesome. They're out doing their chores for the day on their llama and cattle ranch, I believe. All right, stay tuned for more. Well, this might be a first time seeing this sign. You gotta turn around and get a good view of it. Not the top, top side, the one down below. I've got this muscle or ligament in the back of my right knee going down my calf. Will not loosen up. Keep trying. I'm walking it off right now. You know what I think I need? It's a little bit of support from all my viewers right now. If you're out there, give me a little yeehaw! Let's get going! Come on! Yeah. Only one way to get up this mountain. Put one foot in front of the next. Spin this little thing around. Thank you. Cool sight here. Empire Mine. Green all the grasses. Where are all the cows at? Rolling spherical mountains. So cool. You can't even get the whole mountain in the shot. Look at it. Oh, there. Wild. Made it to the top. Hello, hello, good morning, day number eight. Leaving Helena or Helena, whichever, in Montana. 
started the day with a nice, hefty climb up this wonderful gravel road right out of downtown. Lava Mountain Pass. Technical, but rideable. I think it feels good that I'm clearing all of this. My body feels great. Day eight. It takes about eight days for your body to really adjust to what you're putting it through. At least for me, but today has been a lot different than the last three, four days. Gonna eat a burrito. Burrito at the top. Anybody got a Jeep? This would be one fun trail to come up on a Jeep. Nice cafe, really nice sweet ladies running that those biz those two businesses in the whole town. We're headed out. I might just be crazy a little. I'm leaving Butte. I think it's like eight o'clock at night. We'll get 20 miles down the road, hopefully. Find a camping spot. I don't want to get stuck in town. It takes me forever to get out. Especially if I get a motel. Anyways, today was an emotional day. Emotional roller coaster a little bit. We got through it. We're rolling. I slept right behind you last night. It was cozy, although a little uneven, but it didn't bother me. I sleep so well with that quilt and that air mattress. I really do. Tossing and turning like I do, it's just like so easy. Let's go. So I wanna share something with you guys. Over the last nine days I've been doing this, Two or three of the days I've had this pain in the back of my calves. First left calf and the right calf. The left one went away quick. The second time it came around the other leg, it didn't go away quick. And after like half a day of struggling with it, I started punching it. While pedaling, when I'm on my upstroke, I punch the back of that calf. 
and it made that pain go away. I like that and massaging it. I got off the bike and I walked and stretched and massaged it. But I think it's really once I started punching it, I broke up that ligament and it released. Yeah, that's my story today. Divide National Scenic Trail. Myself out here. I hadn't seen a single other rider all day. See the tracks so. though. Day and number 11, I think. I made a little mistake. I didn't screw the water bottle lid on. My squirt bottle. I didn't screw it on all the way after I pulled it out of the freezer. I froze electrolytes in it. And the lid fell off. And I didn't realize it until like a mile later. Luckily, too much climbing to get back to where we were. Woke up and riding with Scott today. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Beef. That's what's for dinner. I'll take a quarter pounder with a smiley face. Your order's number 293. You see forever. Funny thing is, is in just a little bit, we'll be across that forever. Looking back. Wondering how we got across forever so fast. Life carries you the direction that you want it to go. You are the ultimate decision maker. This might be the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I don't know if you can see it with the camera. But this jet stream in the sky. 
sky. It casts me to the sunset, a shadow behind it, looks like a tail. And then on the landscape of the earth, you can see the shadow. By Yellowstone, USA. I think I saw a beaver run across the road. Right there. Uh, it's day number 12. Lucky 12, Misty. Doing pretty good today. We're gonna try to get a lot of miles and make up for cutting a little short yesterday, 90 miles. Beautiful day for a bike ride. I don't think you can see it in the frame, but there's a river, a warm river, flowing to my left. Time and wet my shirt in the stream. I just ran out of water and had to filter. So such good cold water. I'm nearing the pot now. I think. setting up his tent. 
Hello, good morning. I missed all the coverage of the worst day, day 13 yesterday. Going over Union Pass, the conditions of the road, the mosquitoes, and the rain. All were missed out. But I got to a lodge last night. It's very nice, and I got a good night's sleep. Goodbye. Good morning, folks. I don't know what day it is. I'm on the tour divide. I just left Pindle Valley Lodge where Sandy and her husband took great care of me. I showed up at 9 o'clock covering mosquitoes. They got me a room. Sandy made me an awesome cheeseburger, french fries, asparagus. I had a cold beer at their bar. Very nice lodge. Oh, yeah, boy! Leaving Pinedale with a new bar bracket, a new chain, and the bearings and the cogs on the derailleur replaced. Looking good now, baby. Looking good. Atlantic City, next stop. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. I'm about to turn and I will be headed due east. You see that tree over there blowing in the wind? We got 30, up to 30 mile per hour winds coming from the west. Yeah! We're having a good time. 22 miles per hour and not pedaling. 23 miles per hour. On negative one percent grade. This ride has been full of emotions uh, all over the place, up and down, left and right. There are some emotions that come from completing a course. Oh, you can't see it. I've split this ride, the Tour Divide, up into 11 segments, and I just completed the fifth segment. Right here, in the middle of Wyoming, I get to start my next segment. Little victories go a long way. Straight ahead right there. Antelope. Oh dear. Straight from
Third last night from Sandy. Antelope here in Wyoming. We have one of the largest, longest migrations every year. They migrate down here into the lower basin and then migrate up into the higher elevation where Sandy Lodge is at, kind of in that Kendall Valley Lodge. You want to know the best way to cook a burrito? In the back, jer back of your jersey with a hot sun setting behind you. Yes, this thing actually does work. Let's turn it around halfway through. I'm stealing these miles. It's not fair. Okay, I'm working for it now. Now I'm working for it. The drill turn, switch back. Not too bad. The wind's on my side. Here we go. Ooh, here we go. Why am I on the wrong side of the road? This is why I'm on the wrong side of the road. for a day and a half. Let's go. It's gonna be a good day. 10 miles down, less than an hour. 90 left. Checking in and checking out. 25 miles per hour. 
nice road. Sure would be nice if somebody would paint it. Paint it red. Never been so happy to see a Love's truck stop. at night time.
Good morning, good morning. Monday. Monday, day 18. Just climbed up and over my first little little mountain. Coming down. We're gonna try to make it from Radium, Radium Springs Campground to Breckenridge today. 85 miles, a lot of elevation gain. Made it into Silverthorn, got some Chipotle, went to Pearl Izumi and got me some new arm sun protectors. And now we gotta get up that dam. Up to the top, this little trail here. My birds. What a great way to end this day. Pulling into Breckenridge. There's whale's tails on the right. And all the Breckenridge ski mountains. We just got to the top of the Borai Boreas. Boreas. Boreas Pass. This is it, man. Look 10 miles. 10 miles, 3,000 feet gain. Oh, Down Gold Flakes. Roads covered in magnesium chloride. I'm not ready for that. Going down for about six miles now.
to care. Hi. Hello. Sorry. Good morning. I am currently ascending Marshall Pass. It is day number two zero. Big 20. I am homesick. frustrated at this wind. Is that all you got? Update. Day 20. I didn't do a lot of vlogging or I didn't log a lot of video today because I was in a headwind and grumpy. Ate lunch in Sargent's, Colorado, and didn't fill up my water. I don't know why, but I left with maybe a liter. Fought the headwind and drank all my water almost. Fought it for a while, just taking barely taking sips. So finally, I got to a T in the road, and there was a county maintenance building. Forgive me, viewers, I trespassed. And I went to that water well, which was pretty dirty water. And I filled up, and I ran from the mosquitoes that were swarming, jumped on my bike, Pedaled as fast as I could to get away from the mosquitoes. And I stopped at the end. I laid down. And I drink water. To the filter. So my body was like shivering. This cold water was so good.
divide mountain bike route. We are on it. Music in the park, Thursday at 6 p.m. Well, today's Thursday. All right, just left Del Norte. We are fully loaded. Except for my platypus bag of water, which I started using today to filter water with. It works better than a bottle. Besides that, being full of water, I get everything else full with two plus days worth of food on my back and in the bike. We are coming up on Indiana Pass. It is 10 miles at 6% average. We will be at the highest point of our ride of the entire tour divide. Pass elevation summit is at 11,900 feet. We're going up and we're doing it in the afternoon slash evening. So it all works out. Hopefully we get up and over as a campground and water on the other side. No water till we get over. Yeehaw. You got some practice doing that, huh? I'm pushing you over and get there. Have you ever seen so many daisies? That's wild. Look at them. Well, if I'm being honest, today's the day that I'm most homesick. Other times I felt challenged out here. It was because of the condition of the trails. Condition of the route. Today I'm just homesick. I wanna see my kids. I wanna see my wife. I'm entering a valley that has been occupied since 
12,000 years BC. Peladonian people. 500 AD, they settled in Mesa Verde, which I guess I'm close to now. I'm between the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and the San Juan Mountains. In this valley, it has had human existing in it for over 14,000 years. That is pretty cool. That kind of makes my day a little bit better. Good, I need it. Get ready for a lot of this. They are all over the place. It is July 5th, everybody's way off of work. Well, it's official, I double checked the Garmin. This is the border between Colorado and New Mexico. And I'm in the final state of the Tour Divide. What beautiful landscape this is. I can't help but to think about how many people have Traverse this. How does it feel to do the Tour Divide on a fully rigid bike? Not great at times, but also really good at times. How do I do it on this kind of stuff? I kind of let go of the front end. I let go, but I keep my hands like in contact. And I let the bike move. Single track here. Well, this was cool single track, but not on this bike. You know, this is a question for the Tour Divide route creators. Why change it year over year? Previous records should not stand if it's an alternative route from the record keeper, whatever. This is a different route. So it should be a new record book. You added single track. You added tough sections. Made it harder. Also, I really want front suspension. That's all I have to say. Crazy single track, so we figured out we are on the CDT. This is the Continental Divide Trail, which is a hiking trail. Same thing, it goes across the United States along the Continental Divide. 
does not look like it's very well traveled. Very bumpy. Oh, I love hearing my snack spots around, huh? This trail is absolute madness! Oh! a good time. Hey friends, Scott Beck from Golden, Colorado, out here on Tour Divide, CDT style. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Is that me or you? It's you. Shit. Where is it? I don't know, it's empty. It's a lot, dude. Pick it up, spin it. It's, I can feel it. Right. Oh shit, sidewall. Good morning, good morning. Day 24 on the Tour Divide. Just leaving the Albuquerque Inn in Albuquerque, New Mexico. 58 degrees outside. We're gonna do the highest vertical ascent today. I don't know the name of the pass. Bagel, getting out of town, Albuquerque, New Mexico, a cool little place, great energy, definitely want to come back here. Love y'all, see ya. One of the best parts of doing these climbs is looking down and seeing where you came from. Today's day 24, hardest climb, the whole tour divide they say. We're trying to get to Cuba, New Mexico. It's about 75 miles, 9,000 feet of vertical. Here we go. Oh, and there's no water until Cuba. We're entering Santa Fe National Forest. We're off public land. Going three. Two, one. Look at that view. I'm on top of one of those. You don't know it. Butte kind of things. A little rough trail here getting up. I'm 8,600 feet. I gotta get to 9,900. Here we go. Santa Fe 
of course. Yeah, a couple more hills here. A couple more little mountains to crawl over before we're gonna hit some cement. Some black top. The asphalt. You know, the hard stuff. And we are gonna be on that. Mexico. We're off. Good Sam with me. Day 25. Let's go. Successful camp out. A very nice campsite. El Malpis National Conservation and the BLM. This is our campsite. Great view. Great moon setting last night. Pit toilets, trash, no water. Cool spot though. What a beautiful area here. I want to come back here and hike some of the trails. Oh yeah! It's gonna give me a slice of pie. believe I had a slice of apple pecan pie at the gathering place along with a chicken bacon wrap and a burrito big old fat burrito to go some of my favorite some of the one of the most look forward to spots on this tour divide for me is the Gila National Forest here in about 10 miles we'll enter part of it and then exit quickly and then in like 30 miles we'll be in it and we'll stay in it for a while all right checking in leaving pie town that view right there Rattlesnake. 
little tiny rattler on there. In the Gila National Forest, New Mexico. Incredible. I'm doing the Tour Divide. I'm gonna finish this. Good morning from the Gila National Forest. I don't know what day it is. 26? 27? I think it's 27. Road through the night a little bit, maybe like 30 minutes into like darkness. So I missed a little bit and I could tell it was pretty around me in the valley. But pulled over partially because I want to go see the scenery in the Gila National Forest. Really excited to be here. All right, love everyone. See ya. Some of these views. <sighs> okay, it's that time of my ride. I want to say thanks to a lot of people. I've been thinking about this, uh, this speech for a while now. I'm on day 27 of the Tour Divide. I'm going to try not to cry. Uh, first, I want to thank my wife. <sighs> Misty, you're the reason I'm out here. Um, thank you so much for talking me into this. Um, I really want to dedicate the entire ride to my two boys, Harrison and Quentin. Uh, I hope that through me doing this, you can learn that um, every day is a building block in your life. That you can do anything if you set your mind to it. Uh, I want to thank myself and my body. Um, it's been really incredible doing this. It's been incredibly hard. It's been tons of challenges. It's been incredibly emotional. Um, there are a lot of people that have been um, supporting me along the way. My parents, first off, I know they're tracking me like constantly. And they've been sending me messages every day, multiple times. I wanna thank Greg Stevens uh, for helping me along the way, introducing me to Haas and um, and definitely motivating me all the time. I want to thank Mike Menchaca. You got me into this. You're the reason I'm out here. Uh, Steve Shoemate, my best riding buddy to do these bike packing trips with. You got to come out here and try this. Scott, Sam, Peter, Richard, Philip, all these great people that I've met along the way. We definitely push each other to, uh, to to get to where we are. I want to thank Summer, my sister, for encouraging me to continue doing this. All my great crank and drink brothers for supporting me along the way. Um, there's one other person I want to thank, and uh, that's Mother Nature. You've made this uh, challenging at times, but you've also made it very enjoyable. I'm here in the Gila National Forest. It has been a hot day, but overcast came over and a light sprinkle, and it's really um, it's made it's made the afternoon a lot more enjoyable. Um, 
I, don't, I, don't, I think that's everybody. Rough roads. I think I'm going down. Let's get some. It's a tough day. The Healers National Forest. Not easy. A lot of little short descents and big climbs. Short descent, big climb. It's gonna pay off here at the end. A nice long stretch. Beautiful view. I am starting course number 11 out of 11. Tour Divide 2024. Update for you. We are on the CDT. It has been very exposed, a little sketchy. Some really steep hike of bikes. We're moving now. I'm trying to get through this six mile segment. I got 4.3 left before that sun goes away. And then trying to get to Silver City. Not a whole lot to see. Good morning, day 28. If all goes as planned. Today's the final day of the tour divide for me. I can't believe I'm saying that. It is true. We're just leaving Silver City, went underneath the interstate. Immediately got on some single track, baby. So excited, so nervous, so yeah, thrilling and also sad. I don't know, it's crazy. So, I want to thank everybody for watching my videos, it means a lot.
All right, I'm recording the last mile and a half. I can see Mexico.